10 African Leaders Who Have Been Criticized For Their Actions And Policies Over the years, African leaders have played a pivotal role in shaping the continent's future, but not all of them have been successful in their endeavors. Many have faced criticism for their actions and policies, which have led to widespread human rights abuses, political repression, and economic mismanagement. The actions and policies of these leaders have not only affected their own countries, but also had far-reaching consequences for the region as a whole. From north to south, these leaders have been accused of rigging elections, silencing dissenting voices, and violently suppressing opposition parties. They have also been accused of widespread human rights abuses, including torture, extrajudicial killings, and disappearances. Hello there, you are watching Africa Reloaded. In this video, we will be discussing 10 African leaders who have been criticized for their actions and policies. 10. Robert Mugabe, Zimbabwe Robert Mugabe was a Zimbabwean politician who served as the country's prime minister from 1980 to 1987 and then as its president from 1987 until he was forced to resign in 2017. Mugabe was a key figure in the struggle for Zimbabwe's independence from British colonial rule and was widely regarded as a hero by many in the country. However, his later years in power were marked by controversy and criticism, with allegations of human rights abuses, electoral fraud, and economic mismanagement. He was also accused of stifling opposition voices and suppressing dissent. Mugabe passed away in September 2019 at the age of 95. Idi Amin, Uganda Idi Amin was a Ugandan military officer and politician who served as the country's president from 1971 to 1979. He came to power through a military coup and ruled Uganda with an iron fist, creating a cult of personality around himself and his regime. During his rule, he was accused of human rights abuses, political repression, and widespread violence, including the killing of an estimated 300,000 people. He was also known for his erratic behavior, including declaring himself a conqueror of the British Empire and expelling all Asians from Uganda in 1972. Amin's regime was marked by economic mismanagement, and his rule led to the collapse of Uganda's economy. He was eventually ousted from power in 1979, and he spent the rest of his life in exile, until his death in 2003. 8. Yahya Jame Gambia. He was a Gambian military officer and politician who served as the country's president from 1994 to 2017. Jame came to power in a military coup and initially promised to bring democracy and economic development to the country. However, his regime was soon marked by allegations of human rights abuses, political repression, and corruption. Jame was known for his erratic behavior including claiming that he had developed a cure for AIDS and forcing citizens to attend rallies where he would perform exorcisms. He was also accused of extrajudicial killings, torture, and forced disappearances of opposition figures and journalists. Jame's regime was also marked by economic mismanagement, and poverty and unemployment remained high throughout his tenure. He fled the country after losing the 2016 presidential election to Adana Barrow. He currently lives in exile in Equatorial Guinea. 7. Omar al-Bashir, Sudan Al-Bashir was a Sudanese military officer who served as the country's president from 1989 until he was ousted in 2019. He came to power in a military coup and his regime was marked by allegations of human rights abuses, political repression, and economic mismanagement. Bashir was also accused of supporting militias that committed genocide in the Darfur region of Sudan, leading to an estimated 300,000 deaths and the displacement of over 2 million people. He was also accused of committing atrocities in other parts of Sudan, including the Nuba Mountains and Blue Nile states. Sudan experienced high levels of inflation and unemployment under his rule. Al Bashir was eventually forced to step down in 2019 after months of protests against his rule. He is currently in custody in Sudan, facing trial for corruption and other charges. 6. Muammar Gaddafi, Libya This military officer and politician ruled the country from 1969 until his overthrow and death in 2011. 
Gaddafi came to power in a military coup and his regime was marked by allegations of human rights abuses, political repression, and economic mismanagement. Gaddafi was known for his eccentric personality and style of governance, which included creating a cult of personality around himself and his family. During his rule, he supported various armed groups and terrorist organizations around the world, including the Irish Republican Army and the Palestine Liberation Organization. Gaddafi's regime was also marked by widespread corruption, and he and his family amassed billions of dollars in personal wealth while the Libyan people suffered from poverty and unemployment. Gaddafi's downfall came during the Arab Spring protests in 2011, when the Libyan people rose up against his rule. 5. Paul Bia Cameroon Paul Bia is a Cameroonian politician who has been the president of Cameroon since 1982, making him one of the longest-serving leaders in Africa. Bia came to power after his predecessor, Ahmadou Ahijo, resigned from office. His regime has been marked by allegations of human rights abuses, political repression, and economic mismanagement. Bia's rule has also been characterized by widespread corruption, and his family and allies have been accused of amassing huge wealth, while the majority of Cameroonians live in poverty. The country has also been plagued by political instability and violence, particularly in the Anglophone regions, where separatist groups have been fighting for independence. Despite these criticisms, Bia has managed to cling on to power for over 40 years, winning multiple elections that have been marred by allegations of fraud and irregularities. 4. Azayas Afwerki, Eritrea He has been the president of Eritrea since the country's independence from Ethiopia in 1993. Afwerki was a key figure in the Eritrean People's Liberation Front, EPLF which fought a 30-year war for independence from Ethiopia. Since taking power, his regime has been marked by allegations of human rights abuses, political repression, and the suppression of basic freedoms such as the media and freedom of expression. The country has no independent media and political opposition is not allowed, leading to concerns about the lack of democracy and human rights in the country. In addition, Eritrea has been accused of supporting armed groups in neighboring countries, such as Somalia, Sudan, and Ethiopia. The government has also been accused of using forced labor and conscription, with many young Eritreans being conscripted into the military for indefinite periods of time. Despite these criticisms, Afwerki has maintained a tight grip on power, with no clear succession plan in place. The consequences of his rule have been felt by the Eritrean people, many of whom have fled the country to escape political repression, economic hardship, and forced conscription. 3. Robert Guy, Ivory Coast He was an Ivorian military officer and politician who seized power in a coup d'etat in 1999, overthrowing then-President Henry Conan Bebe. Guy's regime was marked by allegations of human rights abuses, political repression, and the suppression of basic freedoms. During his brief rule, he suspended the country's constitution, dissolved the National Assembly, and banned political parties. He also faced criticism for his handling of the country's economy, which was in a state of decline during his time in power. In 2000, Guy organized a presidential election, in which he was a candidate. The results of the election were widely disputed due to evidence of widespread fraud and irregularities. This sparked widespread protests and violence, which eventually led to Guy being ousted from power by a popular uprising. Despite this, Guy's legacy continues to be felt in the country, with many Ivorians still struggling to overcome the effects of his rule. 2. Blaise Compaoré, Burkina Faso Blaise Compaoré was a Burkina politician who served as the president of Burkina Faso from 1987 to 2014. He came to power in a coup d'etat in 1987, ousting his former friend and political ally, Thomas Sankara. His regime was marked by allegations of human rights abuses, political repression, and corruption. During his time in power, Kampora faced widespread criticism for his handling of the country's economy, which was in a state of decline. He also faced criticism for his handling of political opposition, with opposition parties being banned, journalists being harassed and imprisoned, and opposition leaders being exiled or assassinated. 
In 2014, Kampore attempted to amend the constitution to allow him to run for a fifth term, sparking widespread protests and violence. 1. Teodoro Obiang Guima Musoko, Equatorial Guinea Teodoro Obiang Guima Musoko is the current president of Equatorial Guinea, having taken power in a coup in 1979. His regime has been marked by allegations of human rights abuses, political repression, and corruption. Under his rule, Equatorial Guinea has become one of the world's wealthiest countries in terms of per capita income, largely due to its oil reserves, but much of that wealth has been concentrated in the hands of a small elites. The vast majority of the population remains impoverished, with little access to basic services like healthcare and education. The country has also faced allegations of widespread corruption, with many observers pointing to the lavish lifestyles of the ruling elite as evidence of graft and embezzlement. Obiang has been accused of silencing dissenting voices, with opposition parties being banned and journalists being harassed and imprisoned. Obiang has managed to hold on to power for over four decades, and his family members hold many of the most important government positions. These 10 African leaders discussed in this video have all faced significant criticism for their actions and policies while in power. Their regimes have been marked by a range of issues, from electoral fraud and political repression to corruption and human rights abuses. While some have been ousted from power, others have managed to cling on despite the criticism. It is important to remember, however, that these leaders do not represent the entire continent or its people. Thanks for watching. Please make sure to like, share, and comment on this video.